Hey everyone, happy Friday. So this morning was the last dose I had to take of Olestri that I was drinking uh, to get Obagio flushed out of my system. I am so happy to be done drinking this stuff. Um, as I said in last week's video, it wasn't that bad. It's doable, uh, but it was rough drinking it for 11 days every eight hours, um, especially drinking it at 5.30 in the morning at 9.30 at night because 5.30 in the morning, it's so early, you have nothing in your stomach and like 9.30 at night, you go to bed with an upset stomach. So I'm so happy to be done. Uh, week two was not as bad for the side effects and upset stomach as week one was. I mean, it was still there, but not as bad. So that was really, really good. So on Monday, I will go for the blood work to see if it actually worked and got out of my system. My MS nurse did say that it can take about 10 days for that blood work to come back to say if it's out or not. So I'll just have to wait that time and when I get those results, I'll make sure to let everybody know Hopefully it'll be sooner, but who knows so now that I've done this flush and Really Obagio should be out of my system This week it kind of hits home a little bit. I start to think more about the fact that I I'm not taking any medication and don't have anything in my system to help prevent relapses from my MS, which is not something that I know. Uh, since I was diagnosed almost three years ago now, I have been on Obagio. So I've been on something that, you know, is preventing relapses. So it is a little bit scary right now to think about it, but I just have to stay healthy, make sure I'm eating the right foods, um, get as much exercise as I, as I can, as much as my body can take, and just try and stay as healthy as possible to prevent any relapses from happening. So just fingers crossed, I mean lots of people every day who have MS are not on a medication and are maintaining their health and preventing relapses uh, without it. Um, but with that said, some people can't do that. Some people get off drugs and have a relapse and have to go right back on. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed um, that everything is smooth, it's all good, and that I don't need Obagio to keep my MS under control, uh, as well as all my other medications. I mean, I've been taking medications, a lot of them, since diagnosis. So now that I'm not taking anything, it's actually a little bit weird. Um, but I'm hoping that I actually might start to feel better. I don't know, but I will keep everybody posted over the next couple weeks, months, how I'm feeling, if my body is affected by it in a negative or positive way. And uh, yeah, I'll just keep everybody posted on what happens. Um, if you have any questions, if you're considering doing the Obagio Flush, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll give you any information I can about my experience with it. Overall, it was doable. You can get through it. And, um, you know, hopefully it was the right decision for me. So I hope you all have a very good weekend and I will see everybody next Friday.